Hello there everybody, it's me Leo and welcome back to another Stimju Valley Legacy Speed Build. So today we are working on the ice cream stand. This is a little shop that only opens during the summertime and obviously this is where you would come to get your ice cream. Um, but you'd always find Alex here managing the shop and you'll also find um, Haley hanging around and spying on her little crush Alex or at least that's what I'd like to think. Hashtag Alex Haley ship um, but yeah this is our second restaurant that we're building for the series I do plan to make a couple of community lots um, and that includes two restaurants but before I talk more about the builds I do have a couple of things that I'm interested to hear from you guys about and first of all what are your guys thoughts on putting like a time limit on the challenge because if I remember correctly in Sarge Valley you have two years to um, do something Thing, and then grandpa will show up and he'll evaluate your performance and I imagine um, basically the year for the challenge will, will last maybe 21 days um, per season so um, it, I think that's a, a good like long time I mean maybe 14 to 21 days per season I mean I don't really want to like have um, like a set length of season because i feel like people should be free to decide that for themselves but i do want to have like a time limit because i think it's gonna give meaning to the existence of joja in the challenge because right now joja mart exists simply as the house of morris but they don't really have um like meaning because you know our main goal our main objective for the challenge is to complete the community center but i feel like if i put a time limit for completing the community center i think it gives joja the justification to exist because if you don't complete restore the community center on time joja will demolish the community center so it's like you have two years to you know complete the community center and if you do that within the time limit, then, you know, Joja will leave and everything will um, be awesome and beautiful. Um, so I, I I don't know. I It's it's just me. I mean, I don't really want to like overcomplicate the challenge. That's why I really want to hear from you guys. If there should be like, um, you know, a set time limit for the challenge. Also, another thing is that um, this is with regards to my previous builds. A lot of you guys suggested to actually make an adventurous guild club and I think that is absolutely brilliant and I'm totally gonna do that and one of the optional goals for the challenge will be to join the adventurous guild um, I don't know what they're gonna be doing I haven't explored like the scouts yet so that's a thing but you know I think that you know the adventurous guild I think it should exist as a club for sure um, so those are the two things that I need to hear from you guys about and please do let me know in the comments below because I do take your suggestions to heart and I do consider them I do my best to incorporate you guys as much in the challenge as I can so for the build um, yeah it's it's basically like a diner um, I set this place up as a diner because like I said I was going for like that 50s retro diner thing um, I also put like um, an ice cream maker which I keep forgetting actually exists uh, but we have that I think it came with maybe cool kitchen or perfect patio one of those um, but I feel like we should have that because you know like I feel like it's an underappreciated item for sure that nobody really uses I mean I definitely don't use it but um, yeah you guys this place actually functions as a restaurant so you don't really need to play the challenge in order to you know find this place useful you, you can just download it if you want like uh you know a place to have some ice cream or some you know refreshments or whatever so um that's that um and the the one thing that does concern me is that in restaurants i don't think that um like counters are that effective because i think for restaurants you need to have like actual tables so to compensate for that i actually put some picnic tables at the back you guys will see in just a little bit um yeah there are some picnic tables over there at the back i put a couple of them um also you guys might also notice that i didn't speed this build up as fast as i normally do because i felt like it was short enough to um not warrant me speeding it too too much because i do want some time to talk to you guys about certain things 
Uh, but other than the two restaurants that I'm planning to build for the challenge, the other community lots are, I have, like, from the top of my head, I have two more that I'm gonna do. One of them is going to be more of, like, a community pool. Um, obviously, if you play Stardew Valley, you would know what lot that is, um, and which one it is. And then the other one is going to be more of, like, a supernatural-themed one, which, once again, I have no idea what to do for that supernatural lot. I think I'm just gonna throw in, like, a wishing... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it. Um, okay, so for the swimming pool, should I say it? Um, how long do we have to go? Okay, we still have a little bit of time. So for the swimming pool lot, I plan to make it into like, I plan to recreate the spa slash railway. It's gonna be all in one lot and the Sims can basically come there to, you know, you know, maybe go swimming and all that good stuff. Um, maybe even like, I, I might even make it into like a gym or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. And then the other lot that I'm planning to make is the Witch's Swamp, which is a little bit of a spoiler probably uh, because it's like an endgame content, but um, I wanted to build something in Forgotten Hollow and I thought, you know what, let's build a Witch's Hut. Um, and I have nothing to put in it. I have no purpose for it whatsoever because I don't plan to make like a witch character. So, um, you know, the only thing I can think of is to throw in a couple of relics in there and also a wishing well. Um, but I don't think that's, you know, a useful enough place for that. But I don't know. I, I really like the idea. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. Um, and yeah, basically back to the build. I just went for like this really fun summery vibe. So, um, there's a couple of items obviously that I placed that weren't really um <laughs> you know there in Stardew Valley um such as this balloon lamp which is a very interesting peculiar item that I don't think I've ever used that much in previous builds before but I felt like I needed that balloon lamp because I wanted to light up the space because <laughs> yeah um yeah I, I I I had no way of lighting up this little area right here so you know what I was like I'm gonna put this because it looks really fun and awesome and it's really awesome and it's all it's, it's, it's all good and basically this little pattern over here with like this um, nacho colored ground um, nacho cheese colored soil texture I just followed like the way it looks in Sarge Valley so I know it looks really weird but trust me it's it, that, that's actually the way it looks also I threw in like the um, you know like the picnic table so that when you come here and use it as an actual restaurant you Will actually be able to sit on actual tables as well. I did think about making this into a coffee shop but I just felt much better making it into a restaurant because I felt like that was more functional. Uh, so yeah and yep we're just pretty much throwing in a couple of things. Um, the only thing that I think I forget to include is a sink and um, this uh, like concierge podium thing. It was really hard to include a sink, by the way, so I think I actually put it on the back part of this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it's gonna be there somewhere. Um, so yeah, I think at this point I realized how I'm like how there's no way I'm gonna be able to include a sink because like oh my gosh, how like where am I gonna put a sink? Um, so I, d I did figure it out eventually, so, um, yeah. Anyway, um, let's see here, um, hmm, what else should I talk about? I still have a couple more minutes to go until this thing wraps up, so, uh, I'm so excited to show you guys all of The Sims, oh my gosh, like, maybe this weekend if I finish all of The Bachelors and Bachelorettes, I'd make, like, a post on YouTube and I might even tweet, tweet on it as well. Um, so, um, if you guys are interested to that, on seeing them, let me know. Um, I keep asking you guys all these questions, but I, I genuinely love hearing from you guys. I know that some of you guys probably noticed that I haven't been around on Twitter as much, and that's just because it's just, Twitter is happening way too fast for me. Everything is just so fast-paced that it's, it's like, impossible for me to keep up with everything. So, um, it's really overwhelming doing, like, this daily speed build series. So I'm like, you know what? I don't need to be on, on Twitter this much because I already have my own personal social media um, where I catch up with everything happening in real life for me. So it's just, 
really overwhelming so hopefully you guys will forgive me for not being way too active on twitter uh but i think once i finish these daily series of builds i think i might be able to go back to twitter because um it's gonna be less pressure on me but i think i'm actually gonna wrap up my commentary right here because there's really nothing more to say i did leave you guys with a lot of questions and please let me know because i love hearing from you guys as always so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here as always you all have an awesome 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 day thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.